There's some tension between President Trump and civil rights activists. That rift heating up over the opening of a new civil rights museum in Mississippi. President Trump taking a tour of that museum, addressing the crowd. But the president's participation is such a flashpoint that major civil rights figures like John Lewis boycotted the event. Here's ABC's David Wright. No hate! Today in Jackson, an echo of the civil rights struggle. Peaceful protest of a president who has fanned racial tensions attending the opening of a new civil rights museum. If you go this way, you'll see a Confederate flag. If you go that way, you'll see a Confederate flag. Now, how are these men who are standing up talking about civil rights right now, how are they squaring that message with these Confederate flags that are all over the place? But it really is a beautiful, beautiful place. Trump's message today, one of inclusion. These buildings embody the hope that has lived in the hearts of every American for generations. Because Trump was there, civil rights legend John Lewis was not. Congressman Lewis, one of the heroes of Bloody Sunday in Selma, called President Trump's attendance an insult to the people portrayed in this civil rights museum. Four months ago, there was this scene in Charlottesville and Trump's carefully measured response. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. Just last night at a rally in Pensacola. Blacks for Trump, I love you. Trump pledged his support for Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore. Trump and Lewis have feuded all year. Trump tweeting in January that Lewis is all talk, 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 no action or results, sad. This weekend, Lewis plans to campaign in Alabama for Moore's Democratic opponent. In Jackson today, Trump supporters gave him credit for coming. Most of us support him trying to do the right thing. Nobody's perfect, but at least he's trying. And David is with the president in West Palm Beach tonight. And David, let's go back to that Alabama Senate race. Late word tonight that Trump has recorded a robocall for Roy Moore. That's right, Tom. These are those phone calls dialed by a computer. They always seem to land during the dinner hour. Such a big part of get out the vote operations these days. The White House confirms tonight that the president did record a call for more. The more campaign tells ABC News they plan to roll it out statewide tomorrow. David Wright for us tonight. David, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.